peripheral smear examination and the urine examination are the most basic and the first line of investigations that the clinicians require in order to uh, get the treatment started for the patient. Most laboratories have always been relying only on trained lab technicians to undertake diagnostic tests. The lack of skilled pathologists is compounded in rural areas. And by the time we had the report over here, uh, it said leukemia and then the very next day she went into a uh, blast crisis and we lost her. Gudalurla Nali na Adivasiyala anu lada paniya, betta kurumba, monla kurumba, kaatnai kare. Aile kudal population mana tu paniya tribe ana, kena betta kurumba, ririwa sadamanu, monla kurumba, kaatnai kare. First of all, if you don't have to go to the hospital, you will go to the hospital. You will go to the hospital and tell the hospital. You will go to the hospital and tell the hospital. Now, it's not that bad. The hospital is a tribal patient. Now, it's not that bad. But, it's not that bad. The hospital is going to the hospital. The hospital is going to the hospital. Hospital medical le yara, cik doktor saya rasa cendang, di rumah kalau bodi orang jerawan. Ippa perih lawang le, sister teri poy, nang masa marco, yana kipri ager dale. Apa intu poy lawang le, card potu terong. Apa le di rumah sister le teri bandar kuli pomatang. Vaksinasiun kum pomatang. Ippa lawang lawang le poy vaksin potu terong. Nampol ah, dari tu lalat tempat teri le health mana tu, semua gramang lalu malah re masa mai re di lalan dia rendah tu. Apa nampol health, adi wasir lalu ada orang tu ni main di tanah, asyni anas tu abenam, nampol tu orang ni tu ni. This is a hospital which is for the tribals of this Godalur and Pandalur taluk. So we cover about twenty thousand of the tribals, about three twenty hamlets. When we started the hospital uh, years back, it started as a small community centre for the tribals and then slowly grew into a hospital. The staff uh, here in the hospital are all tribals. They are trained from the community and they uh, take care of their own uh, people over here in the hospital. So the tribal patients also find it uh, very easy to come here and also get treatment from here because their own people are around. So when they go to higher centres they find it very difficult because uh, it's a totally new uh, atmosphere, it's out of their comfort zone, so they really don't want to go to higher centres. When we do the test, we have the timing. Jadi, nama nariya time baru, anda test itu pandang bodoh. Mana lalu nama pakum bodoh. Anak pinnya orang orang itu patients. Awang orang itu apa pun nama hospital lah anda. Awang lalu ingat wait pandang itu ke istilah. Awang lalu segera pohon pun solu bangga. Apa awang nama clear awang lalu diagnosis nama kandu putus. Awang lalu level segera treatment start pandang mudi mau. Aduk lalu nama try pandra. Apa anda mari irkum bodoh nama ini pandang mana lalu test itu pandang kuda. Aduk nama confirm test itu kaga nama baru pathologist itu ada opinion tebe. Aduk kaga nama beri outside dan test itu anu pura awang lalu patient orang itu. Ada anak perempuan orang mandi tu, Bellur CMC Hospital ada anak pichin tu je. Ada murid juga nama Kupusami naik tu hospital kauan betul. Angga anak pih, angga angga test pun ni, angga diagnosis kandu putih je kurikir tu kulara. Pasien tu ke time, agud tu treatment kurikir tu ke time agud. We had a patient over here during this COVID time and she came to us with a lymph node in her neck, so it was a cervical lymph node and. Uh, we uh, did an FNAC uh, and we had to send it to, uh, over to Coimbatore, so you need courier service for that. So during the COVID times there was a lot of problem with courier service and it got delayed. And when we got the report of the FNAC, it didn't give us a conclusive report. So we had to repeat the FNAC and we did that again. Meanwhile she became very anemic and then we tried to do a peripheral smear over here 
uh, we thought there was something abnormal but again to get a proper report we had to send it again to Coimbatore which again took a lot of time and by the time we had the report over here uh, it said leukemia and then the very next day she went into a uh, blast crisis and we lost her and she was here with us for at least three weeks uh, and we had lost so much time to make a diagnosis and this is why some one tribal patient who didn't want to go anywhere else for her treatment uh, even the nearest medical college that we have in Calicut is about three hours away but they don't want to go uh, and get treatment there in those cases when if we had reports immediately we would have started treatment on her earlier and we could have saved her life a lot of the tribal patients have anemia and uh, based on the um, picture that the peripheral smear is giving us then we look at whether it's microcytic, macrocytic so then that helps us to at least start treatment before um, uh, we can uh, try and do other investigations even the B12 assays and folic acid assays will have to go outside so at least we can start them on treatment earlier based on these peripheral smear reports. Uh, SVB Bangalore is a global delivery center of um, Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, the headquarters is in uh, Santa Clara, California. Uh, the bank is over almost 38 years of legacy. Um, SVB is a comprehensive suit of the CSR program uh, to ensure food security, um, rehabilitation and support to the underprivileged. We at SVB CSR make sure to get the right inputs connect the right people and think of all the ways our efforts, investments and resources can truly make a difference. This part of our work connects us with the amazing people of Kudlur Adivasi Hospital and many more who overcome enormous obstacles every day and are eager to make the most of what they have. The lack of skilled pathologists is compounded in rural areas. Through our CSR partnerships at SVB, we identified the AI100 from Sigtuple, which could help us bridge the rural healthcare gap. And uh, what our device, that is the AI100, does is it uh, identifies the cells on the peripheral smear, and all you need is a simple technician who can make the smear and stain the slide, and he feeds it into the machine. And this uh, machine identifies these cells, takes images, and these images are further uh, processed by a neural network which pre-classifies the cells into uh, RBCs, WBCs and platelets and will give you the images of the morphology of all these cells. So what happens further is the clinician or any of the pathologists who are working there at the centre can look at these images and this gives a clue to the diagnosis and definitely will help the patient to get a better health care. But now, we have a test the machine. We have test the machine. So, now this, uh, that AI machine is over here, we are trying to get uh, a lot of these reports on, uh, on peripheral smears. And uh, Dr. Renu has been helping us with the um, confirming those reports and give us, giving us a uh, report on what the peripheral smear is saying. Diagnosis is a high risk area for errors in primary care. Ever since we placed the AI-100 device at Ashwini Hospital, I have been reviewing the peripheral smears of the patients at Goodlore while staying here at Bangalore. AI-100 is definitely a device which assists pathologists to expand their reach beyond borders. It's an amazing feeling that you get as a pathologist when you are helping a patient in need by providing an early and accurate diagnosis. It's all about saving lives, which makes this whole thing satisfactory. And I am able to achieve this with AI 100 today.